12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Right, here we are again. Welcome back to Tuviso Sports Running Insights videos. And today I'm going to talk to you about cadence. Okay, first up, what is cadence? Cadence is the tempo or the rhythm that you run at. Okay, slow cadence, fast cadence. It's how many steps you're taking per minute. And the big question is, does it matter? And if so, why? Well, it really does matter. And I'll tell you why. Uh, now, I'm going to show you something very interesting. Why does that bounce? Now, we think we know why it bounces. That's a daft question. It bounces because it's elastic, and it has a preferred shape, and it likes to be round. And when it hits the ground, the bottom of it is compressed, and it bounces back out into shape. And it's that bounce back out into shape that pushes it up into the sky. Okay, we all understand that. But then explain this. Now when the ball is on the ground and I put weight on it and compress the bottom, surely when I let go, it should bounce up. Why doesn't it come up? It's compressed, it's squashed, it's flat against the ground. Why doesn't it come up like it does if I do that? That makes no sense. Well, actually, it makes a lot of sense. When you bounce the ball and the bottom of the ball is compressed into the ground, a lot of energy is put into the ball. And it uses that energy to resist the change in shape by springing back into shape very, very quickly with all the energy that was put into it by the impact. And that is enough energy to make it bounce. If you press it down flat onto the ground and then don't allow it to come back up. That energy that was put in there in the instant that you squashed it turns to heat energy and is dissipated and it's gone. And when you take your hands off, the ball just quietly goes back into shape, but there's not nearly enough energy in there. So the energy of the impact is gone. So it has to be able to bounce very, very quickly. Okay, there's no such thing as a delayed bounce. It's then just dead. Okay, you ask. What did any of that have to do with cadence? Well, interestingly, everything. The arch of your foot, with all its little bones and all the little tendons that link them, is actually a spring. Okay, it's also elastic, just like the ball. And you also have an Achilles tendon. And the Achilles tendon is also a spring. And when you are running and you land on that foot, the energy from the impact goes into those tendons and they flex and they want to spring you back up again. But if you take too long, then they warm up and the, he and the energy is wasted and you have to use muscles to heave yourself back off the ground and take your next step. So if your cadence is not high enough, like if you're not bouncing that ball, you don't get that assistance. So to get any benefit at all from that bouncing effect you need to run with a cadence of at least 160 that's 160 strides per minute below 160 you get no assistance at all from that bouncing effect on your tendons optimal is 180 that's when you get the full benefit but 180 takes quite a bit of practice now obviously if you're going to speed your cadence up to try and get yourself used to running at a higher cadence because it's bouncy and elastic you're going to go much faster and that's going to be difficult. So you're going to probably need to adjust your stride length and cut it down a little bit. If you need to be reminded about stride length, just go back to our video running insights number... Whatever. It was running insights number four and it was called watch your stride length. That's where you'll find it on this channel. Thank you. That one. Your stride length will take care of itself. We're going to concentrate on cadence. Now I'm going to measure mine now. I'm going to go for a quick run. And in that run, I'm going to time a minute on my watch and count my stride. All right? If we just count on one foot, so you're getting two strides at a time and you double it at the end, that's easy enough. 
Um, all right, so let's go for a run and let's see how this works out. Eighty-two. What's that? Eighty-two. Hundred and sixty-four. Hundred and sixty-four is okay. I'm getting some benefit, but I would get more benefit from trying to speed that up closer to say 170 or even above. Um, yeah, so that was interesting for me. All right. Hope that's going to be useful. It should be. Click like, subscribe if you want to see more, and as usual, send me an email. Here's my email address again. I love your questions. Thanks for watching.